Hello, my name is Amaima Ali, and I'm a registered respiratory therapist at West Park Healthcare Center. Thank you for joining me as we talk about traveling with oxygen. Oxygen therapy doesn't mean being stuck at home. There is equipment available that allows you to be mobile. And the availability of oxygen in many places means that traveling is always an option, but requires some pre-planning. Whether or not you're using oxygen for rest, sleep, or exertion, it is important for you to see your respirologist or your family doctor prior to planning your trip, as he or she may prescribe you oxygen for in-flight. In some cases, your current prescription may change during in-flight. Your doctor may need to complete some forms or medical documentation required for your trip. When traveling, make arrangements to pick up your oxygen well in advance. For provincial travel, you will need at least one week in advance. For national travel, you will require two weeks in advance. And for international travel, you will require at least one month. For international travel, your home care company will be able to help you, but you have to give them as much time as possible. If you are traveling by car and using an oxygen cylinder, make sure the cylinder is strapped down under the front seat of your car. You may need to pick up additional cylinders along your trip. If this is the case, then you will need to coordinate with your home care company and organize pit stops along your journey where you can pick up these additional cylinders. If you are using liquid oxygen while traveling, make sure that it is positioned on the floor and that it stays in an upright position at all times. If you are using a portable oxygen concentrator or a POC, ensure that there is an electrical outlet available in your car. If available, plug your portable oxygen concentrator charger into the cigarette lighter or a DC outlet. This will save your battery during your trip. It is recommended that you carry along a spare oxygen cylinder in the event the portable concentrator or liquid system breaks down. Two important points to remember when traveling with any form of oxygen in your car is to first, never store oxygen in your trunk and always leave the window cracked open to allow for ventilation. Oxygen should never be kept in an airtight environment. If you are traveling by train, remember that an oxygen cylinder cannot be a part of your checked luggage. Most train lines will require that you give notice in advance to travel. There may be some restrictions that you need to take note of. For oxygen cylinders, there may be a weight limit in place on the train. So when traveling by train with an oxygen cylinder, document the size, weight, and model. With liquid oxygen, make sure to bring your own equipment and to store the system in an upright and secure way. If you're using a portable oxygen concentrator on a train, there are a few considerations that you need to keep in mind. You need to bring your own equipment and also have enough battery for a minimum of four hours in case there is a power outage on the train. Also, make sure the train has electrical outlets for you to use to plug in your portable oxygen concentrator. If you are traveling by air, you will require a few pieces of documentation. First, you will need a doctor's letter approving you for your travel. This can be done by your respirologist or your family doctor. Secondly, you will need your oxygen prescription. You will also need the airline specific medical form. This medical form should be filled out by your doctor. And finally, you will also need your airline's oxygen policy. Airline policies are subject to change without any notice. And each airline has its own oxygen policy. So be sure to ask for a copy. By air, you will need to plan ahead. You must notify the airline of your oxygen requirements at the time of your reservation and then follow up 48 hours before your flight time. In order to keep track of all of this information, it is a good idea to write down who you spoke with and their contact information so that it's easier for you to follow up before your flight. So what can you bring along with you on your airline? You can carry along oxygen cylinders. However, you should consider their size, the model, their weight, and their working condition. The airline will require this information from you as they will have to store your cylinders during the flight. Also keep in mind your travel destination and what accommodations will be available for you at your destination. If you are bringing along a portable oxygen concentrator, bring along all your equipment. Consider the POC's model and the amount of batteries needed for the entire duration of your flight. Remember that in-seat power outlets in aircrafts are not designed to be used with medical devices. 
For further details on possible seat restrictions and battery storage, consult your airline policy prior to departure. If you receive assistance for the cost of home oxygen from a government or insurance program, please note the cost of oxygen and related supplies when traveling may not be directly covered. So save your receipts. Different programs vary and may not reimburse you for all costs. There may also be fees associated with the delivery of oxygen equipment to your travel destination. Different airlines may also charge you for using auction while on your flight, so save these receipts and submit them to your funding agency or insurance program. When you discuss air travel with your doctor, you may be required to adjust your auction prescription because of the change in atmospheric pressure. Some doctors may request further testing such as a high altitude simulation test. This is where you will be asked to have blood samples taken and breathe in different mixtures of oxygen. During the simulation, you will be continuously monitored and a technologist will determine what amount of oxygen you will require when at the high altitude, such as you would experience during your flight. A checklist is a good way of keeping all of your information in order. You must have your doctor's letter, your approval forms, and your oxygen prescription. Now for your equipment. Remember, if you're using a cylinder, also make sure you pack your cylinder key. Always have proper storage, such as a stroller. Don't forget to pack your cannulas, such as your nasal cannula, your pendant, or your mask. And it is a good idea to have a few spare connectors in case one breaks or gets lost on transit. And lastly, always have enough charged batteries available for use. Thank you for joining me in the Traveling with Oxygen talk. Take care and enjoy your day.